to start by saying I am not someone that follows celebrities. And I never look for celebrities as being activists. But, you know, whenever somebody does something that's going to benefit one of our people, then it is still worth paying attention to, especially if the celebrity is trying to do something that is beneficial. And actually Kim Kardashian these days seems to be a lot more of use than her husband, Kanye. That's a whole different issue for me. But she is now trying to get another convict released from prison. And his name is Chris Young. Chris Young has been sentenced to life without parole after being arrested for marijuana and cocaine possession. See, when we try to tell people that many of these Black men and women are in there for some of the most remedial crimes. Drug possession is a big thing. It is not unusual for people to get these astronomical sentences for drug possession. And some of these people out here try to act like we're making this up and we're over-exaggerating or when they try to put us on the spot and say, well, who got those sentences? They act like we can't find these cases and these cases can easily be found because there's so many of them, period. So I'm gonna show you Chris Young. This is Chris Young right here. And this is the one that Kim Kardashian is returning back to the White House to meet with Trump and advocate for Chris Young to get out of jail. Another case of wrongful sentencing, but this is the norm in American society. We have someone like Ethan Couch who killed four people driving underage and under the influence of alcohol, and he's free right now four people dead. And then we have someone like Chris Young in there for drug possession and serving a life sentence for drug possession. That is way overboard and many of you know it, but this is how they choose to run their society. And then when somebody like me put out videos opposing this kind of stuff, they act as if I'm doing something wrong but I know damn well that I'm not. And I know damn well what I'm saying is true when it comes down to the way we are put in jails. There's no justification for it. I don't care how many arguments they keep coming with black on black crime and we're the most violent. That stuff don't hold water with me. So when you come to my channel with it, you are truly wasting your time. I have researched this for a long time and I know what is going on with these cops out here over policing the black neighborhood. I know what's going on in these courts and these all white juries that still exist in 2018. And the main goal is to put people like Chris Young in there, as many as possible, keep stacking them in to make sure that prison work get done, that corporations are robbing these people through labor to get all of that work done. And then they have this mastermind plan when these folks get out of jail, the same job they were doing behind bars, 
they're not eligible to get those jobs because they have a criminal record. We know how the game is played. And ladies and gentlemen, you know, I, I don't always do a lot of celebrity videos, but on this one, I will make an exception. So Chris Young is 30 years old and he's been in jail already for nearly 10 years. And for what he was charged with, that's more in fact, 10 years is too much for a marijuana and cocaine possession. So he's been in there for 10 years of his life already, which should be more than enough time served, and he should be out. This is a tweet that went out by Brittany K. Barnett. My client, Chris Young, is serving life without parole for low-level role in a drug case. The unspeakable cruelty of Chris being set to never breathe air as a free man again epitomizes a failed system thriving off human misery. Unacceptable. And I agree with everything that she wrote. Everything. And it's the truth. These types of arrest have been in place as long as their 13th Amendment has existed in this country, which was really all about targeting the Black community and putting us in jail. That was the, always the intention from the beginning. And it always will be the intention as long as this corrupt dirty, evil system is allowed to exist. Now, it would be one thing if you put people in that were doing hardened crimes and harming people or causing death of many people, like somebody like Ethan Couch, somebody that caused the death of many people. Then if you want to put somebody in there for life without parole, I can understand that. But marijuana and cocaine possession, and even his attorney said his role in the whole thing was very low level. It is no justification for somebody like that to be put in jail for life without the possibility of parole. But this has happened. You know, I'm glad that Kim Kardashian is using her celebrity influence to try to free some of these people that are in prison. So I, I do commend her for that. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen, about the Chris Young case that she has taken on. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell and I will see you on the next video. Peace, family.